All right. So you are tuned into KGLR 95.3. This is Rocky Flats. I am sitting here with 88 Keys. Say what's up to the people. What's up, people? This is 88 Keys, like he just said. Duh. <laughs> Don't mind all the noise in the background. We're doing this sound check live. There it goes. Silence. No more. All right. So. Uh, easy come, easy go. You know, 88 Keys, we don't know a lot about you, man. We got introduced to your music not too long ago. I want you to tell the people of Boulder something about you. First off, you hail from uh, Long Island, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And how long you been in the music industry? Man, I've been professionally in the music industry since, I want to say, uh, 98. Oh, no, 97 when I sold my first track to Network Reps. I did a remix for one of their songs called uh, Hip Hop's Delight, uh, Dos Collabo. And then... Uh, and then my, you know, my turning point was when I worked with Black Star. That's Most Def and Talib Kweli. I produced a, a song that you may or may not have heard called Thieves in the Night. And then from there, I went on to produce three songs on Most Def's debut album, solo debut album, Black on Both Sides. I produced Love, Speed Law, and co-produced May December. Nice, nice. So uh, we saw the video with you and Kanye. Why don't you just tell us a little bit about that? I noticed that the whole theme of the video was these two old guys hanging out with a lot of hot chicks. So uh, what was that all about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hot chicks indeed. Well, you know, the, the, video, the song is called Stay Up Viagra. And uh, it's the first single from my album, my debut album. It's uh, The Death of Adam, which is uh, solely produced by myself. Well, no, not solely. Produced by myself. I did. I produced every track on there with... Uh, with uh, two exceptions, I did co-productions with uh, a group called uh, Shiitake Monkey on a song called uh, the, F the Friend Zone, and then uh, co-production with uh, my boy Brooke DeLow on uh, a track called Dirty Peaches. But I, I'm straying away from the point. I'm straying away. So <laughs> back to the video for Stay Up Viagra featuring uh, Kanye West, who uh, just so happens to be my best friend, and uh, he's also the executive producer of my album. Uh, yeah, the uh, we we just follow suit with um, Jason Goldwatch, who's the director. This is his brainchild, and uh, he's also uh, part owner of Decon Records, who uh, put out my album. Um, basically, it's just you know a uh, tongue-in-cheek story of just two old guys just running around the the, the city of Los Angeles with some hot chicks just trying to like you know uh, like we kind of like broke out of the retirement retirement home and you know we get picked up in that stretch limousine by the hot girls. Um, then you know things just one thing leads to another, and we become very satisfied old men in the video. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's the first single from the album. But, uh, you know, I, I made my album for each song to stand alone by itself as a single. But my album from top to bottom is a, it's a complete storyline. So that's just, so if you heard the single or you have the single, you're just getting one part of the story. Yeah, yeah. You know, so you, Tell us about that. You know, I was reading a little bit about that. It has to do with uh, the story of Adam or whatever, you know. Yeah. This is a friend of yours and Kanye and everyone. Uh, it was kind of bland. Like, what exactly happened to this friend? You know, I wasn't quite sure what was going on with your description in your articles. Yeah, well, well, a Adam is every guy, pretty much. You know, um, synonymous with Adam from Adam and Eve. And you know, Adam is myself. Is you? Right. You know, it's uh, my man right here with the headphones. Uh, it's your father. It's your granddaddy. It's your cousin. You know, like like I made this album so everybody can relate to, and basically is to describe. You know, it's it's to kind of put out there on Front Street uh, the relationship between well the modern day relationships between male and females uh, nowadays. Um, you know, and uh, again, everything is all in tongue in cheek and everything. And uh, yeah, it's just you know, I I just wanted to let everybody know the thought processes of most men, not all, but most. You know, so I I, I kind of drop a dime on us guys. My bad, my bad. But uh, yeah, it's it's it's, it's a strict storyline though. That, that's what I want people to to realize. Like the first song is called "Morning Wood," which you know I don't know if I can say this self-explanatory. Um, it's pirate radio, man. Say whatever you want. Oh shit! No. <laughs> um, you know, so uh, you know, "Morning Wood." So so the the story starts off with Adam, you know, catching a boner, you know, when he wakes up in the morning. <laughs> Right, and so he figures like, hey, I gotta go do something about this. You know, right. I need to go get a girl. So he decides like, okay, 
the best way to get a girl is be Mr. Nice Guy, you know, tr you know, open the door for the girls and, you know, treat her to dinner and movies. So that song is called Nice Guys Finish Last.